Hello, Mappers. Saturday morning for me. Um, maybe Saturday night for you, or whatever day you're in, whatever time it is for you. Welcome. Um, I wanted to do a quick video on an itch that I wanted to scratch. So I'm a Jossum user generally, and um, that means that you're often you often see this. You should update. You should update. So that means your Jossum version is out of date. They release a new version about once a month, and um, time flies. So a month is over, and you would want to. Of course, you always want to make use of the latest and greatest features of the stable version. Um, so I tend to update every whenever they ask me to. It's a bit of a pain because you have to go to jossum.openstreetmap.de you have to download whatever your installer is uh, Windows or Mac or you have to um, update your package on on uh, on uh, Linux or replace your, your jar file manually uh, so that's a bit of a hassle to do every month so uh, I wanted to explore a different version of doing things a different way of doing things that um, that has existed for a long time, but I just haven't used. Um, and also I heard that there is sort of a new piece of software to help us do it. So that way is um, through this um, JNLP file. So it's a Java web start. So basically what that does is it installs a little, uh, basically a proxy for the program that you can click on your desktop. But what it does is it connects to um, uh, the Java Web Start system and that basically looks for the latest version. Um, my apologies, I don't know a lot about sort of how the technology actually works. I just like to use it. Um, you can't be curious about everything. Um, well, you can, but I just don't have the time to explore this particular uh, technology. So if I click on this, um, this doesn't give me anything. It just give me a, gives me a download dialog, right? Um, and I can save this file, and then I can click on it, but it won't do anything. I mean, this is on Windows. On Mac, you'll see something similar. So what we need to make this work is a something called Open Web Start. And I'm going to just going to search for that. Um, so this used to be Java Web Start, but that was... I feel like it was always pretty finicky, and it never worked really great, and it was poorly maintained, I think, as well, so... Now, fortunately, there's Open Web Start. I don't know if it's actually open source. Um, people love to throw open in there, even though the software is not open source. Um, in this case, I don't really care. Um, I just want to make it work. So I'm going to download. There's Linux version, there's a Mac version, and there's a Windows 32 and 64-bit version. So I'm going to download the 64-bit Windows version um, that uh, I can then go and install take a take a just a minute um except the oh it's a gpl v2 license so i guess it is open source so i'm going to accept most of the defaults by after looking at them real quick so this is important i want to associate the jnlp um, extension with and its mime type with uh, with Open Web Start, so I can double click on the icon and it will open the Open Web Start um, software to kind of connect to uh, Jossum and see if there's a new version. So I'm hoping this will work. Okay, so this is done. I don't think I actually need to open. It probably gives me a um, an Open Web Start. Yeah, settings app. I'm not even going to look at that. I'm just going to go back to um, Jossum. I'm going to actually quit the Jossum that I have. I'm going to actually going to remove that version because it's going to get confusing if I have the sort of the actual installed version and the web start version will look the same. Um, so I'm going to oops. I'm going to look for Jossum install programs. I'm just going to uninstall that. The personal settings I'll leave. I hope the J the the web start version 
sees those and uses those, but we'll see. Okay, so that's it uninstalled. So now what I hope will happen if I click here again is that it will open it will open in open web start and it will download JSON. So let's see if that works. Okay, not yet. Um, I'm gonna save it and see. Okay, so it's Windows warns me that it's an executable, so now it at least knows it's an executable. Um, I'm going to open this because I trust it. Um, so now, so there is a default. So the Open Open Web Start logo is now the default for uh, for this for this file type. Um, I'm trusting this to open JNLP files going forward. It will usually it will always actually give you a confirmation dialog still if you want to actually install and open the uh, the app. So it will never take you by surprise. So here's Open Web Start, the, the splash screen, and then it will, uh, Jocelyn will take over and it will actually create its own sandbox um, Java. It looks like it will download um, the 11, JDK 11, uh, even though I already have Java installed. Um, so it will give, create its own Java sandbox. Um, perhaps Jocelyn tells it to download a specific version I don't really know so here's this here's the uh, uh, the confirmation that you need to uh, click right so the name is Jason plus publisher Foskis um, from so you can confirm here that it's actually what you're tr what you're trying to install download and install um, and I can set this to trust always content from Foskis which I do because they're great people up there in Germany um, so now I get two options. This should only happen once, I think. Um, you can add a shortcut to the start menu, which I'd like to do, and to the desktop as well. So I want to do both. And then the rest of it should be familiar. It should now just open uh, JOSM, and there it goes. And it should have now the latest version. See, now I don't have to, I don't have to get the update dialog. And when I do this next month, so I can, uh, when I do this a month from now, it will it will it will actually check for the a newer version and download it if needed. So I'm going to actually go to the Windows menu and do JOSM. And now it should go through Open Web Start, right? So it will in the background it will check for a new version. If there is none, then it will just um, see it will say download real quick, but it will already have it cached. So there's no new version, so it will just download the or start the version that it already has installed. So all this is transparent and I really like it because it saves me the trouble of having to update manually every single every single day uh, a month. So um, I hope this is useful. This should work on Linux and Mac as well with a little bit of a different differences um, with the different operating systems but um, this should be uh, work pretty universally and I'm glad we have Open Web Start now because it seems to work really well and um, Thank you, Open Web Start, for making this available. Thank you, Jossum developers, for continuing to work on my favorite editor. And happy 